are investors really interested at all in VR or is it just in this, who knows, sort of state at the moment? So, so this is a really interesting one. And I think probably a couple of years ago, I would have agreed with you. I was always skeptical about the ability of VR to, to reach the mass market, but actually doesn't really matter. Um, so VR had its investment moment from what mid 2015, 16 through to 2019, 20, when, when the investment bubble, you know, appeared to, to, to burst. Um, and, and that's when it became clear, just as you're saying, that despite rapid growth in Quest 2 from about 2020, um, that mass market adoption of VR just wasn't going to happen at all. But that's not to say that it's not viable. Um, and in fact, VR gaming has been growing very healthily. So if you think about it, VR is a relatively greenfield site. You don't have the really big games developers and publishers putting all of their top tier titles, the triple A's, into VR. Some, some, some do, but not all of them. And therefore, that means that for smaller and medium scale VR um, uh, games developer publishers, actually, there's a really good opportunity. There's some very profitable companies out there. And in fact, the investors tend to agree. 